What's going on guys, it's Leafy and today I want to bring you a brand new video talking to you about how I make the best content on the world for the most amazing platform on the internet, Pornhub. So anyway, a couple of days ago, I don't know, two days ago or something like that, I posted on Twitter asking you guys if you wanted me to make a video explaining all of the specs of my gaming computer uh, and my setup and everything and how I record and all of the things that I have that are, you know, revolve around YouTube and making videos for YouTube. And a ton of you guys actually favorited that tweet and a bunch of you replied saying, yes, please make a video. And the reason that I asked you guys is because I get actually a lot of people DMing me asking me and I didn't know if you actually like if most of you really wanted to see it or not uh, but I figured you know a ton of you did seem to want it so I figured I would bring you this video really quick today uh, and I will talk to you about all the things that I use to make these YouTube videos I'll explain the whole process uh, and let's just jump right into it well first things first if you are going to be a gaming youtuber you need a gaming console unless you obviously play on computer personally I play on ps4 for this generation and Xbox 360 for last generation those are the two consoles that I actually currently have hooked up to my whole setup here. Um, this webcam that you're seeing right now is a Logitech C920. It records in 1080p, 30 frames per second, and it's very good for what it does. Uh, it's obviously, you know, tethered to the computer. You can't take it outside. You can't do anything. It's just a webcam, uh, but it's very good at just doing little face cam things like this because it is HD. Uh, I did purchase this at a wholesale price on, I think, either eBay or Amazon. I don't remember, but it was brand new for like $65, $75, something like that that so it's definitely cheaper to do that than to buy it at Best Buy or on Logitech's website where they label it as like a hundred dollars or something like that so if you do want to go get an HD webcam this is definitely the best one on the market at this time uh, at least for what I'm doing right here obviously there's better things of course but for the price point and what for what I'm using it for this is great uh, and again if you want to buy it new buy it wholesale on Amazon or eBay because it's the exact same thing it's just cheaper the microphone that I'm using and I'm gonna try and push it in frame here um, it's obviously out of focus but uh, this is the blue Yeti microphone um, this thing is like hundred twenty dollars I don't remember how much it was when I bought it it's definitely a couple of years old and I know that they've updated it since then they I think they have a Yeti 2 or something like that I don't know there's a black one now and a white one I think there's all different types of versions um, but it is a really expensive microphone and if you're just starting off you definitely don't need something like this uh, even better you can buy the blue snowball which is you know same company the company is called blue uh, it's it's the same company it's not it doesn't have as many features you know this thing you can change from you know you can choose to just accept audio from one direction or you can get it from all directions or whatever there's also from uh, there's all uh, different kinds of settings that you can do on this piece of hardware that the blue snowball can't do but as far as just commentaries from one direction a blue snowball is probably perfect uh, for you if you are a beginner but you do want to get better audio quality for commentaries uh, and if you are maybe a little bit more serious or you're maybe doing a podcast or something like that this all this is also a great option um, like I said this is the original blue Yeti so I don't know what versions they have out now but this one has lasted me years it sounds great I have absolutely no complaints it works 100% perfect all of the time uh, and if you need a good microphone it is definitely a good option to record my gameplay I use an Elgato HD 60 that is the newest model that Elgato has released at the time of recording this it obviously records gameplay from your PS4 or your Xbox One in 1080p, 60 frames per second. Uh, I have no qualms with it. It is a perfect recording device. I have no issue with it. I think it's like $200 or $250. I don't remember. Uh, I bought it when it first came out and like I said, that was like, what, a year or two years ago? I don't even remember. But that is the piece of software that I use to record my actual videos. You plug the HDMI cable from your PS4 into the Elgato uh, and then you record, and then from the other end of the Elgato comes another HDMI cable that they give you and you plug that into your TV then you plug the USB from the Elgato into your computer uh, and then you uh, turn on the software and boom you are pretty much done it's very very simple it, the, the the piece of hardware is actually labeled in and out so you know which side to plug which part into very simple very self-explanatory and very easy to understand how to use and set up uh, if you do buy a brand new there'll be instructions or a link in the packaging to where you can go to set it up uh, yourself oh my god my phone just fell off the desk and hit me in the nuts 
Anyway, this is my keyboard. This is a Logitech G910 Orion Spectrum mechanical keyboard. Um, if you guys were wondering, you know, because it does have all the LEDs that do change colors and move around and stuff like that, um, it is a Logitech G910 Orion. Um, I think it's like $180. I got super lucky. A friend of mine, shout out to you. You know who you are. He got this to play World of Warcraft on, on his Apple computer. And after a little while, um, he barely even got to use it. Apple updated their, I don't know if it was their operating system or just their some sort of software, I don't know. Uh, and then this no longer works on Macs at the time of recording this. So um, he was like, hey, do you want it? I'll give it to you. I tried to give him money for it. He said, no, it's fine. So here it is. We have it. Uh, it was free, but I think it's like $170 or $180, something like that. Um, it's a fantastic mechanical keyboard, obviously super expensive, and you obviously do not need this keyboard or anything like it to edit videos effectively. Uh, my keyboard before this was like, 30 bucks and, and even that's expensive you can just use a free one that a computer comes with uh, to edit effectively you don't need something like this to game effectively or um, you know edit effectively but it's just really awesome and it was a gift to me uh, and I figured I'd shout him out really quick and let you guys know how and where I got it another thing you guys ask me all the time is what headset do I use what headset is this uh, and this is actually a Triton headset I bought it way back when ps3 came out um, it is a Triton AX 720 7.1 surround sound sound headset uh, like I said came out a very long time ago um, it's super beat up and I'm definitely new due for a new headset like I, you guys probably uh, haven't seen this is actually tape right here I had to tape both sides because the plastic construction is really cheap really flimsy and shitty uh, and I don't recommend getting one um, because there are far better ones on the market and this one is outdated it doesn't the microphone does not work on Xbox one and lately I've also been having issues where my friends occasionally will say at random that there's some sort of interference static noise coming from a microphone so I actually have to unplug it and replug it in and that usually fixes it but it has been acting up a little bit um, the thing I will say though is that like I said it is very old but I haven't upgraded because it is 7.1 surround sound so I can hear enemies footsteps all around me no matter where they're coming from so it works perfectly fine in that aspect but this little controller thing that comes with it is built like complete shit this little switch here sometimes fucks up all the time uh, and you know sometimes I have to unplug it and replug it in and even that doesn't usually fix some of the issues I've taken it apart try to fix the components inside um, it's really not built that great what I will say though is when the when it does work perfectly fine the audio quality is very good it is Dolby digital um, it does use an optical cable op optical audio so it sounds actually amazing when it does work and uh, I paid I paid two hundred dollars for it when it came out only because I had a seventy five dollar gift card to GameStop at the time because I got it for Christmas uh, so that's why I paid that much money for a headset but I did see if you, you can get one of these um, used on eBay or Amazon I don't remember which one in very very good condition for about 40 bucks and I would say $40 is a great price for this thing like I said the construction is very flimsy you might have some uh, audio issues um, and you know the microphone is not going to work on Xbox even with adapters I've tried different adapters wires cables everything there's just it's not gonna work it's too old um, I've tried literally everything so for $40, if you want to get it for PS4, I would say, you know, go for it. If you're very, 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 very on a strict budget, uh, it is great. And if you don't mind buying it used, you have to, you know, obviously just clean it up. So that way other people's like earwax isn't in your ear. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's a decent headset. I definitely need to get a new one. But uh, until that one function stops working at all, uh, I'm going to keep it and uh, keep taping it up, I guess. All right. Now we're going to get into the nerdy part of the video. As if the first part wasn't nerdy enough, I'm going to talk about all of the components for my computer because if you didn't know I actually built my computer on my own um, I built it from the ground up I purchased parts in two different uh, two different sections I built my computer and then like a year later I got a couple of different newer parts uh, to upgrade it for Christmas so Let's just get it right into it. So it has an AMD A10 770K 3.4 gigahertz quad core processor. Uh, this is actually the bottleneck of the entire uh, of the entire computer, and this is actually an APU, not a CPU. And what that means is it has integrated graphics. And the reason that I went with integrated graphics is because when I first built the computer, I went the budget route, and I didn't have the money to actually buy a you know graphics card. So for a couple of months, I actually used it without a graphics card. It was just integrated graphics, and it was decent 
decent for what it was. On top of the processor, I actually have a Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo, which is basically just a CPU cooler. Uh, and the reason that I purchased this for like 20 bucks or whatever is because it will keep the computer cooled down very, very, very well. Uh, and when I'm rendering videos, I noticed the past two laptops that I've had, they would overheat occasionally uh, if they didn't get 100% perfect airflow, which means I would have to actually prop it up on like textbooks and stuff to, so it would get good airflow. Uh, and I didn't want to overheat the CPU on this computer. So I made sure I bought a very decent, uh, you know, processing cooler or processor cooler. Uh, so that's what I went with. I also have an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 960. This is the graphics card that I ended up going with after I decided to upgrade the computer. Um, it's definitely not the best one on the market. And there's definitely, you know, like the GeForce 970 and things like that. You know, there's definitely better ones even in that category. But uh, the reason I went for this one is because it was about $200 when I did get it. And it can completely play all of the games that I need on like full graphic settings. You know, um, mainly all I play are like Sometimes I'll play Skyrim with graphical enhancement mods in like completely high best settings, everything with a ton of different mods. Uh, I play, you know, occasionally, like very, 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 very rarely I'll play League of Legends or um, Counter-Strike or Hearthstone or whatever. There's really not much gaming that I do on my computer, so that's why I went with that one instead of something better, uh, which would end up being more expensive. But I have no problems with this NVIDIA GeForce GTX 960. It's perfect. I love it. Um, for the price and everything you know like i said it's a good graphics card and you can play minecraft on pretty much highest settings of uh, vanilla i don't i don't really play minecraft anymore so i never like load mods or anything but uh yeah it is it's a very good graphics card for the price uh, my motherboard is a gigabyte ga g1 sniper uh this is actually a pretty cheap motherboard and the reason i went with a cheap mother motherboard even though it's risky is because it did have pretty decent reviews and this is the first computer that i ever built so i kind of didn't really know what to get but you know obviously you know getting a cheap motherboard is risky because if the motherboard fries or you know breaks down then there's the chance that the rest of the components for the computer will break down but uh, this did have decent reviews from a couple of people they said it was fine so I went with it um, the reason that I haven't upgraded my processor to like an i7 or something is because of the motherboard this motherboard actually only takes AMD processors so if I wanted to upgrade to an Intel I actually would have to switch motherboards which means I'd have to unplug all the components and plug them all back into a new motherboard and then I'd have to buy a new motherboard on top of the new processor and that's Expensive, so that's why I haven't upgraded but yeah that motherboard is fine again I wouldn't recommend a cheap one but if you're on a budget like I was I guess it, it hasn't you know messed up now and it's about two years old I have team Vulcan 8 gigabyte DDR3 RAM I probably could upgrade to 16 but I'm not I'm not you know capping out on my RAM so I don't think that it would really make a difference at all so you know I could put 16 gigs in there but again like I said the process is really what's bottlenecking the computer at this point so that's why there's not 16 gigabytes gigabytes in there um you know maybe i'll upgrade it soon i don't know there's really no need i guess you know so yeah it's eight gigabytes ddr3 nothing special there um i have a western digital one terabyte internal hard drive this was what i started with everything was on it in the beginning and then i purchased a king or i got for for christmas a kingston 100 gigabyte solid state drive which is what i installed my windows 8.1 onto so now windows 8.1 is on my solid state drive so everything boots up very fast very good I I love it uh, and then all of my documents music you know videos everything is stored on the Western Digital one terabyte internal hard drive uh, and that is the two you know drive and setup that I have going on right now everything is housed in an Antec one ATX mid tower case uh, that's basically just the you know the housing of the unit the actual box that you can see on the table um, it's very flimsy very cheap I think it was like 50 bucks or something like that I definitely would not recommend it it was very cheap um, I actually broke the um, aux port for the for my speakers on the front of it very very shortly after getting the computer uh, it just you know I like tripped on the wire and it just snapped like so quickly and it was like you know the cord should have pulled out of the unit before the unit itself actually snapped which just goes to show how cheap it actually was made so i was pissed about that i'm still pissed about that to this day like a year and a half later but you know like i said it was very cheap it was in the budget and it does work for what it is you know everything is housed in there completely safe completely fine uh and that's what i went with i have an evga five to six hundred watt bronze certified 
power supply the only reason i say five to six hundred is because i actually don't remember um what it is i used to have a 430 uh and then i was gonna upgrade when i in when i put in the uh graphics card and um you know i think i was gonna go with a 500 but the 600 was like 25 dollars more expensive or something so i just went with that i think that's what it is um so obviously i have a ton of overhead for what i'm doing here i have way more like my power supply is way bigger than i need it to be uh but like i said for the price difference i just went with it because you know it can't hurt uh and then i guess if I want to upgrade anything else, I can just keep that power supply, so it's fine. Then I do have a Samsung DVD drive. It was like 13 bucks, no big deal there. I barely use it because who uses CDs anymore? Um, but occasionally, when I do buy CDs, I do burn them to my computer. So yeah, that is useful occasionally. And I do have a Wi-Fi adapter. I don't remember what it's called, but it doesn't really matter because it was like the cheapest $20 one that I could find. And that is it for the computer. That is everything inside my computer. So you now know I built it myself. Those are all the components. If I'm not lazy, I'll put all this entire list in the description below. So you'll be able to see everything. And now I'm going to talk about the software that I use to make videos. So to record my gameplay, I actually use the Elgato game capture software that you get when you purchase an Elgato. I know a lot of people use OBS, but I don't use that because um, I find that it's easier to use the Elgato game capture software because you can turn off the preview window, which is definitely something that I enjoy. I don't like seeing the gameplay on my computer and there because it's distracting me out of the corner of my eye. And also I feel like it's easier on the computer's end of it, you know, as far as graphics processing, because you can just shut off the, um, the preview window and then your computer doesn't have to worry about that or handle doing anything with that. And when you you use OBS you do have to take into account like the bitrate and everything um, at least I think so I don't know how other youtubers do it um, you know and it's obviously not hard if I looked into it but I, I like the Elgato game capture software it's very easy you you know you click on it you press record and you're done that's it so it's super easy um, I use OBS for streaming however because that is free and it's very versatile you can customize it however you want uh, and it's just very good whether you're on twitch or MLG or wherever you are you can use OBS I think you can use OBS for MLG. I'm not actually sure um, who even streams on MLG. It's not even a thing anymore, so it doesn't matter. Uh, but you can stream on like YouNow or other, other sites like that using OBS. You can stream pretty much anywhere using that software. Again, it's free, versatile, amazing, perfect, nothing wrong with it, and it's free. Um, to record the face cam that I'm recording right now, I use the Logitech software that comes with the uh the webcam you just when you buy this you go to their website download the actual software and it works with logitech webcams only i do believe i know some people have asked me what software i actually use uh and that is it it is free and it comes with it it doesn't have any watermarks or anything like that you know some of them do have watermarks on there this one's completely free and works 100 percent perfectly fine and i absolutely love it to edit my videos i use sony vegas i know a lot of youtubers might use the adobe uh, the adobe software or maybe they use camp Camtasia, but I feel like Sony Vegas is a solid middle ground. Sony Vegas has way more features than Camtasia ever will, uh, and it's very, very, very easy to use compared to Adobe. Um, Adobe is probably better as far as features go. It definitely has some features that are, you know, not, they're either not in Vegas or you can do it in Vegas, but it's kind of like a longer method. It takes longer and it, it, you have to do it manually as opposed to Adobe doing it for you. Um, so, you know, but for what I do, Vegas is perfect. It's very, very easy to use. Um, you can look up tutorials on how to use it. I won't teach you uh, how to use Vegas. Um, but I also use Photoshop for my thumbnails. A lot of you might say, oh, I love your thumbnails or whatever. What program do you use? I use Photoshop um, for Vegas and Photoshop. Don't ask me how much they are. I don't remember. Tons of people ask me how much they are. Just Google it. It's very simple. Um, you can look it up on on the Adobe website, Adobe Photoshop, or on uh, Sony Vegas's website. You can look it up how much it'll cost you to get it or whatever you want to do. And like I said, I'm not going to get into how I edit my videos uh, because I feel like you can look up tutorials on online if you want to but if you guys really want to see like my presets and everything that I go through to actually upload a video if you, like I said if you want to see the presets on my Sony Vegas or if you want to see um, just like you know how I add color correction to my clips and everything you know all that stuff if you if you smack the like button 
and enough of you guys want to see it, I'll make a separate video talking about that. But if you guys don't care about that stuff, like I said, I'm sure there's tutorials on YouTube. But if you want to know what I specifically do, make sure you smack that like button and I will be checking in on this video to see how many likes it gets. Drop a comment down below telling me if you want me to do a Sony Vegas tutorial for Call of Duty or Overwatch or whatever. It doesn't really matter. It's all the same to me. Uh, and I'll definitely do that if enough people want to see it and we get enough likes on this video. Make sure you subscribe for more videos like this one. Uh, you definitely won't regret it. I don't think I am pretty entertaining. I know this video is very long and this probably isn't entertaining to most of you, but like I said, a lot of you did want to see this video and you did want to know the specs of my computer. So hopefully it wasn't too bad. And that's about it guys. So thank you so much for watching. This has been Omniarch and I will talk to you later. Peace.